Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at Vault and I think that is the problem that's going on right here. Us PC users think it all falls on us to modify things and change things to make them work properly for us. Okay, Fallout 4 is out. A whole bunch of people have been excited for it. I've been included in them. I played Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. Played all of them. So you can say this might be biased. But people have been complaining about performance issues. I've been reading some articles about bugs in the game that I have not encountered. And uh, I'm going to take a look at uh, one of them right now, which is... Uh, has to do with the frame rate. To work on uh, the frame rate issue, go to your My Documents, go to My Games, Fallout 4, and you'll have a couple files over here. The Fallout 4, the INI file. You're going to want to I present interval 0. Save that. Edit this one. And down here, I present interval zero. And then um, the next thing that I like to do is the screen refresh rate. Set yours to 60 instead of 120 or 144 if you have one of those monitors. And let's see how that works. Okay, so we fixed the frame rate. I'm getting over 600 frames per second. Look at that. It's amazing. But... Let's go to a save game where I'm right near a computer console. And just to make sure my frame rate's maximized, I have everything on the lowest setting. Okay, let's go to this terminal here. Yay! Let's get some locations. Oh, but I missed reading something. Look, I'm stuck! Oh goodness, I'm stuck from using a computer. So that's what happens when you remove the frame rate limit. All of the game's logic depends on things being at 60 frames per second. It's not a cinematic choice. It's not a laziness thing from the developers. But even though I'm at 60 hertz right now, I could go into my drivers for my AMD graphics card, pick a maximum frame rate, put that at 60. Let's see what that does with this. Let's see, I'm at the menu. Getting 60 frames per second. Go to the water treatment plane again. But you're going to get screen tearing and all this other not visually pleasing business. One time it works. Two times it works. I'm pretty sure it'll work this time too. It works. Everything works. So, what did we learn from this? I think we learned why did we go into here and start messing around with settings that were not stock settings. Really the only thing you can mess with is the field of view, which I guess I kind of recommend, but I mean, the developers wanted it at one sort of uh, field of view. They wanted the game to be a certain way. So you put back on that setting. I'll take off the, um, the frame rate setting here. Play the game.
and I'm at 60, it's topping out at 60. My graphics card's not trying to bog itself down to just hit 60. It's only jittery because I'm recording. And everything works. Well, would you look at that? The game's not buggy. Modifications players are using are buggy. So, why are we messing with the game? Game works! 